one thing I always used to get into arguments with in terms of my friends that were into rock music was which decade was the best decade for rock music. And I'm discluding metal because metal was a metal goes a little deeper. I'm just talking about regular rock. Maybe punk is included, but just rock that doesn't go to that level of intensity or abrasiveness. Abrasiveness is, I think, a bit too harsh a word to describe it, but for me, I always thought the 90s was the best. But everyone tells me that the 90s was when music started going downhill, and I agree with them in some ways. However, 80s rock, while I do like it, I do have a lot of 80s rock bands I do like, doesn't hold a candle to me against 90s rock. And the big reason I say this is that the 90s was the decade for alternative rock. Sure, in the 80s, underground you had Red Hot Chili Peppers and Faith No More, those rap metal, funk metal, alternative rock bands. You had Melvins, you had grunge bands like Nirvana on the low. I think Nirvana's best work was in the 80s, even though they're associated strongly with the 90s. Yet, that was underground, where something like glam rock that was pretty big. And if there was a band that was hot in the 80s, that was alternative, unless it was The Cure, it was mostly a one-hit wonder. Even then, it, it, it's still pretty standard. And what I like about alternative rock, because when grunge came in, grunge wasn't really metal, it wasn't really punk. It was interesting, because you were able to hear chord progressions and melodies that were catchy, yet they weren't pop. They were different. That smells like Team Spirit riff. It's a F chord, an A sharp, an E, and then a G sharp, and a C sharp. I think so, that's how it went. And it sounds really good. Somewhat funky, but yeah, it's badass. Uh, it smells like Team Spirit isn't my favorite song, and even from Nirvana. And I always thought Kurt Cobain was a douche. My favorite alternative rock band was Alice in Chains. Then you had New Metal, which, because it wasn't set in the Northwest. It wasn't as Brahmin as Nirvana. With all the grunge and hard rock and gothic elements, it was somewhat anti aja and Dalit at the same time. Just the hip hop elements and things like that. You had Korn, a lot of those guys in Southern California. And you also had, in Northern Florida, bands like Limp Bizkit. So I, I find those kinds of alternative rock bands interesting a lot of people hate on new metal but new metal got me into rock music then grunge solidified that and then you got bands like Tool, these progressive alternative rock bands Tool kind of brought back the odd time signatures in my opinion Alice in Chains did dabble in the odd time, but Tool just didn't fuck around. And that's why I love Tool. Not only were the chord progressions really interesting, it wasn't that hair metal 1-4-5 ballad, but the sound was just different. It was fresh even now, and it didn't do stuff that pop did. It was mainstream but it didn't have that pop sound. Which is interesting since pop is 
slowly diverging from rock and other genres that were that are all sort of it's becoming harder to define them and easier to define them at the same time. Especially now, like you hear pop and you hear rock, and it, it, it's way different. And that's why I kind of prefer 90s rock, alternative. It, it was way too alternative. I enjoy that shit. I mean, I still play a lot of songs from 80s, the 80s, and uh, creative too. I, I love playing that shit, yet it, it's not the same thing. There's a level of mystery to the way music was arranged in the 90s as opposed to the 80s. Granted, with the 80s, I guess in some ways they like the metal more. Because the metal, I guess... It, it only got either heavier, more technical, or more melodic from the 90s on. So this is the end of my video, I guess. That's the reason why I think rock in the 90s was better than the 80s. If you have a different opinion, I could understand since I think guitar players in the 80s have stood the test of time. It's established that those guys could fucking play. They're skilled in what they do. And they did strive for more technical virtuosity, which a lot of 90s guitarists didn't do. That's why you don't hear a lot of players in a standard rock band in the 90s bragging about their guitar playing. Yeah, what they played sounded really differently, but different, but... It's what they did with it in the 80s that I can understand. Those are my opinions. This is Mr. Wonka 7 and Suck My Dick. And for those that don't get it, respect the king.